My name is Owen Jones, and I direct the Weaver Family Program in Law, Brain Sciences, and Behavior. Brain Sciences has essentially two components within it that I focus on in particular. One has to do with neuroscience, and that is the way the brain operates in manners that law cares about. The other has to do with evolutionary biology, which focuses on how the brain is designed through evolutionary processes to generate various behaviors, some of which law cares about. We were interested in how judges and jurors make decisions about culpability of criminals and punishing them for culpable behavior. We were able to investigate and discover the areas of the brain involved in deciding whether or not someone has uh, created a, a harm, uh, a criminal harm, determining how culpable they are mentally for that behavior, that is whether they hear demons on the one hand or they're a contract killer on the other, uh, and then integrating those two bits of information in a way that is transferred over to a fourth region of the brain where the punishment amount is decided. In one of our other experiments, we investigated whether or not there was a basis in the brain for a distinction that the law draws between knowing and reckless behaviors in the criminal justice context. And we were able to partner fMRI brain scanning technology with a machine learning algorithm, a form of artificial intelligence, to predict reliably under some laboratory conditions whether a subject was in a knowing frame of mind or in a reckless frame of mind. This was the first ever demonstration that this distinction in the legal system actually has some basis psychologically inside the human brain. With respect to the evolutionary biology side of my research, one of the things that I and colleagues have been investigating has to do with the extent to which certain cognitive patterns and decision making that are relevant to law may have deep origins in the brain's evolutionary history. So I teach a number of courses. One is contracts in the first year curriculum. That's a bread and butter course for first year entering law students. And then in the upper curriculum, I teach courses like law and neuroscience, which look at the intersection of those two things, often in courtrooms and also in legislative policies. I also from time to time teach a course in law, biology, and human behavior. 